It'd be nice. What if we could move off in neutral towards magnanimity? In A Terrorist Sun, Zach taught me a steely quote from Gandhi, which resonates with my interpretation of a main theme in I Am Malala. There are many causes that I am prepared to die for, but no causes that I am prepared to kill for. As with Malala, Zach chooses the path of nonviolence, perhaps even forgiveness, maybe not. For all of the good Zach teaches us in his TED original about empathy, I finished listening to this audiobook, Wanting More. He chronicles his victimhood of bullying and delves into how he attempted to exact that bullying onto an Asian who stereotypically knows martial arts. Zach went for the fake and got kicked in the head. It was comical, but ironic. Zach leaves us with the updates to his life about disavowing his faith in Allah and all other religion. He tacitly no longer chooses to communicate with his father. So why do I feel so sad? The more storybook conclusion to this book and a segue to squeal would be if Zach explicitly says he does not trust Bubba, but uses the memory of his father praying to Allah to deliver him to his destiny as a glimmer of hope for redemption. What if Zach's quote bill off Gandhi's to read? There are many causes that I'm prepared to die for, but no causes that I'm prepared to kill for. And for the seemingly Hopeless causes, I prepare for the exhaustion. What if we as humans had such emotionally and spiritually generous hearts to dig deep and exhaust ourselves for causes such as de-radicalizing the radicalized? Could Zach lead Bubba through a cathartic thought experiment? Bubba. What if mama didn't take in that lunatic who accused you of assault? Bubba, even mama did and she still accused you? What if the mosque was 100% in your favor? What if you had a few who advocated for the cleansing of your honor given that false allegation? Simply put, Bubba, what if you were given the love and support to endure the swelling of your good name and faith? Would you have been radicalized? Would you have crawled into the darkest hole of hatred and seclusion, which caused our family so much pain, Bubba? I'm here for you on email. Perhaps if I grow comfortable in the return of that spirit of yours on the teacups, I can be here for you in person.